know what? I think I want to take the car for a ride. What do you say we go take the car for a ride? The SL has not been out in a little while. Beautiful. It's like low 70s, not sunshine. Let's get in the car and uh, yeah, let's do that. We'll take it for a ride with the, with the top down. Oh, what a squeeze in here. Let's just put the key in. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. Oh no, the top won't work. Let's fix it. Okay, well, owners of these vehicles are well aware. These flaps, they make part of the tonneau cover when the roof is recessed. Now, uh-oh, one of these things is not like the other. Yeah, yeah, owners of these cars know. See, that should be up nice and tight. And the culprit, is this thing right here. Well, I guess we gotta fix that. So let's, uh, let's take it out. All right, so here we are underneath, and uh, this flap should be nice and tight, and oh, oh, look at that, it's droopy. Well, that's no fun for anyone. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that was a bad news, my joke. So uh, we've got three 10 millimeter bolts, got my wrench here, one, two, three, I've already loosened them for the uh, ease of operation. All right, so we'll just go ahead and move these off. Uh -huh. ah. Move these nuts like that. You don't want to do that. And I just got blinded by my light. Wow. All right, well, I'll find it in a minute. And now, as you're doing this, you see there's also a bunch of lock nuts over here, and there's a an electrical connector, which <clears throat> just pops out. The electrical connector is a kind of a big deal. I've actually already loosened it, it just uh, slides out. There's your electrical connector. And, uh, and then the uh, lock nut here is at 18 bottom in my car. Uh, your car may be different, but in my car is at 18, and the top is a 17 millimeter. And these little nuts here that I keep trying to not lose, our 10 millimeter. So this should all be very well uh, loose and ready to come out now. Let's uh, let's see what we got. Ah, there we go, it came out nice. Good, good, good. Now, let's see, I believe on the back side, yet to release it, there are a couple of torques. So let's get to that. Okay, so now I've got this out. We've got our T30 torques here. Flat was up. And go, oh, look at that. There we go. Release the flap. Now, the kit, the replacement part, does come with new bolts, but uh, let's see if we can hang on to our originals here. All right, so this one's completely out. And I don't want to be about out. Also. Oh, there we go. It just comes out. And let's uh, see what we've got. Oh, there we go. Looks like there's a kind of like a rack. Rack and pinion sort of thing in there. It's teeth. And it looks like this moves and rolls up and down. And there we go. And this part apparently wears out. So let's uh, see what we can do to replace that. Okay, now perhaps I'm mistaken on this, but here's the old one. You can examine that. Look, there's a little bit of a arc to it there. It seems to have an arch. And if we look at the inside there, um, there we go. Get, get a focus on that. You can see it's a scrape and the, the rack pinning goes in there and then if we look at the new piece it was kind of straight there it is and what I uh, did is when I line them up next to each other it went flush and I pick them up uh, it's kind of difficult to do that with the you know, camera but what what's what I noticed is that uh, when I line them up flush the old piece is is buckled yeah, and I think that's what happens. This old piece, it's got a little bit of an arc at the top. And I guess all the weight, the roof, uh, being repeatedly um, is on this piece, apparently. And the rack and pinion that's inside, and it no longer just ends, begins to sag. And that's that. Whereas uh, the new piece, they're both metal, so that's a, it's, it's pretty solid. Um, the new piece is just completely flush and straight. So I'm going to go ahead and um, lubricate this. And... Um, Put it on. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Got the new piece on. There you go, you see the new piece, there it is. 
All right, there's your electric connector goes here. And so on the back side here, it's kind of tough, I got the light, but there's a, a Torx here, you can see that one there. And there's one down in the bottom. There's a hole right in here where the pinky is there. Now, the tricky bit is there is a slide, the rack goes inside, and there's a gear that's inside there. The gear and the rack, that's what controls how tight this flap is. So the tricky part is getting this piece lined up. It's three pieces, trying to juggle it all at the same time. And there we go, sorry about that. All at the same time to get that there. If you start one of them and allow a little bit of movement uh, with the piece, you can kind of get in and tighten it up there. And with your other hand, you can tighten that Torx on the back. Everyone always makes this look so easy in the video. It's like, oh, look, there, it nice tight. Oh, hey, what do you know? But essentially, it seems to be that's it. And I will put this back and plug it in. And that should uh, fix it. Uh, let's find out. Whew. Wow. That was a bit of a bear of a job. It was a little more difficult than I anticipated, isn't it always? But beyond that, it's juggling. There are three pieces. You've got the new piece and you've got the flap. The flap has to be already upright so it aligns with the, the rack and the pinion, right? That's tricky. So what I wound up doing was taking a piece of my tape and kind of taping the, uh, the flap in the right spot and lining up the uh, new uh, slide, I don't know what you call it, the new piece and starting it and trying to get it and get it in there. It's a bit of a bear, but uh, it worked. And once you do it, it'll be just a little loose and that's fine. That's what the adjuster nut is for. The, the big one, the bottom of my car was an 18, the top of 17. You just take out the slack. That way when it's up nice and snug, use lock nut, nut it down. And then, uh, then we see what happens. So here we are. And go ahead and we're pull this. Oh, well, something's happening. What's going on here? Oh, nice coming out there. Oh, look at that, the flaps popped up. Oh, wow, there we go. Look at that. And then it comes on down and bingo. <laughs> We've got a ride again, fantastic. Thank you for watching this Moose Made video. We'll see you next time.